The Buddha was born into a noble family of the Kshatriya Varna in Lumbini, Nepal in 563 BCE. He was called Siddhartha Gautama in his childhood. His father was King Suddhodana, leader of the Shakya clan in what was the growing state of Kosala, and his mother was Queen Maya Devi. According to Buddhist legend, the baby exhibited the marks of a great man. A prophecy indicated that if the child stayed at home he was destined to become a world ruler. If the child left home, however, he would become a universal spiritual leader. To make sure the boy would be a great king and world ruler, his father isolated him in his palace and he was raised by his mother's younger sister, Mahapajapati, after his mother died just seven days after childbirth. Separated from the world, he later married Yashadhara Yasadhara was the daughter of King Supabuddha and Amida, and together they had one child, a son, Rahula. Both Yashadhara and Rahul later became disciples of Buddha. His first cousin, by his father, Ananda, joined the Buddha as his attendant. <inaudible> Suddhodana Much of the information on Suddhodana comes from Buddhist legend and scripture. He is believed to be a leader of the Shakya clan, who lived within the state of Kosala, on the northern border of ancient India. Although in Buddhist literature he is said to be a hereditary monarch, he is now believed to have been an elected head of a tribal confederacy. Suddhodana's father was Sinahana. Suddhodana was said to be greatly troubled by the departure of his son and is reported in Buddhist scriptures to have sent 10,000 messengers to plead with Gautama to return. After the Buddha preached the Dharma to the messengers, they were all ordained into the Sangha. Later a friend of Suddhodana named Kaludeyai invited the Buddha to return, at the request of Suddhodana. The Buddha also preached the Dharma to him and Shabansu was later ordained as a monk. After this request from his father Gautama returned to his father's kingdom where he preached Dharma to him. Gautama later returned again to his father's kingdom to see his father's death. Suddhodana became an arahant. Maya. Maya was the mother of the Buddha and was from the Kolian clan. Maya was born in Devadaha, in ancient Nepal. She was married to her cousin King Suddhodana, who ruled in the kingdom of Kapilavasta. In Buddhist texts, a white elephant was said to have entered her side during a dream. When she awoke she found that she was pregnant. As it was traditional to give birth in the homeland of the father, Queen Maya journeyed to Devadaha. However she was forced to give birth en route, in the Lumbini Grove. It is said that the Devas presided over the birth and that two streams, one cool and one hot, flowed down from the heavens. Maya died seven days after the birth of her son, whom she had named Siddhartha or he who achieves his aim. She is said, in Buddhist scriptures, to have been reborn into Sita, where her son later visited her, paid respects and taught the Dharma to her. <laughs> Ananda Ananda was the primary attendant of the Buddha and one of his ten principal disciples. Among the Buddha's many disciples, Ananda stood out for having the best memory. Most of the texts of the early Buddhist Sutta Pitaka Pali, Sanskrit, Sutra Pitaka are attributed to his recollection of the Buddha's teachings during the First Buddhist Council. For that reason, he is known as the treasurer of the Dhamma, with Dhamma Sanskrit, Dharma referring to the Buddha's teaching. In early Buddhist texts, Ananda is the first cousin of the Buddha. Although the texts do not agree on most things about Ananda's early life, they do agree that Ananda is ordained as a monk and that Punamantaniputta becomes his teacher. Twenty years in the Buddha's ministry, Ananda becomes the attendant of the Buddha, when the Buddha selects him for this job. Ananda performs his duties with great devotion and care, and acts as an intermediary between the Buddha and the laypeople, as well as the Sangha monastic community. He accompanies the Buddha for the rest of his life, acting not only as an assistant, but also a secretary and a mouthpiece. Scholars are skeptical about the historicity of many events in Ananda's life, especially the First Council, and consensus about this has yet to be established. A traditional account can be drawn from early texts, commentaries, and post-canonical chronicles. Ananda has an important role in establishing the order of bhikkhunis, when he requests the Buddha on behalf of the latter's foster mother Mahapajapati Gautami Sanskrit, Mahaprajapati Gautami to allow her to be ordained. 
Ananda also accompanies the Buddha in the last year of his life, and therefore is witness to many tenets and principles that the Buddha conveys and establishes before his death, including the well-known principle that the Buddhist community should take his teaching and discipline as their refuge, and that the Buddha will not appoint a new leader. The final period of the Buddha's life also shows that Ananda is still very much attached to the Buddha's person, and he witnesses the Buddha's passing with great sorrow. Shortly after the Buddha's death, the first council is convened, and Ananda manages to attain enlightenment just before the council starts, which is a requirement. He has a historical role during the council as the living memory of the Buddha, reciting many of the Buddha's discourses and checking them for accuracy. During the same council, however, he is chastised by Mahakasapa Sanskrit, Mahakasyapa and the rest of the Sangha for allowing women to be ordained and failing to understand or respect the Buddha at several crucial moments. Ananda continues to teach until the end of his life, passing on his spiritual heritage to his pupils Sanavasi Sanskrit, Sanakavasi and Majadika Sanskrit, Madhyantika, among others, who later assume a leading role in the second and third councils. Ananda dies in 463 BCE, and stupas monuments are erected at the river where he dies. Ananda is one of the most loved figures in Buddhism. Ananda is known for his memory, erudition, and compassion, and is often praised by the Buddha for these matters. He functions as a foil to the Buddha, however, in that he still has worldly attachments and is not yet enlightened, as opposed to the Buddha. In the Sanskrit textual traditions, Ananda is widely considered the patriarch of the Dhamma, who stands in a spiritual lineage, receiving the teaching from Mahakasapa and passing them on to his own pupils. Ananda has been honored by bhikkhunis since early medieval times for his merits in establishing the nuns' order. In recent times, the composer Richard Wagner wrote a draft for a libretto about Ananda, which was made into the opera Wagner Dream by Jonathan Harvey in 2007. Devadatta Devadatta was the maternal first cousin or in some accounts paternal first cousin of the Buddha. He was ordained into the Sangha along with his brothers and friends and their barber, Upali, when the Buddha preached to the Shakyas in Kapilavasta. For a time, Devadatta was highly respected among the Sangha. Shariputra is said to have sung the praises of Devadatta in Rajagaha. After some time, Devadatta developed siddhis and his intention is said to have been corrupted. After gaining these siddhis, Devadatta attempted to kill the Buddha on several occasions, commonly thought to be motivated by jealousy of the Buddha's power. He is reported to have rolled a boulder toward the Buddha, piercing his flesh, and to have incited an elephant to charge at the Buddha. Devadatta then attempted to split the Sangha into two, with one faction led by himself and the other by the Buddha. However, this attempt failed as all of his converts returned to the Buddha's Sangha. Devadatta was reputedly remorseful toward the Buddha late in life. He is reported to have walked to the monastery where the Buddha was staying to apologize to him but, as a result of bad karma, he was swallowed up into the earth and reborn in Avicii before he could ask for forgiveness. <laughs> Nanda Nanda was a half-brother of the Buddha, the son of King Suddhodana and Maha Prajapati Gautami. Nanda was to be married to a princess named Janapada Kalyani but abandoned her to join the Sangha. Nanda persevered and became an arhat. <laughs> Maha Pajapati Gautami Maha Pajapati Gautami Sanskrit, Maha Prajapati Gautami was the youngest daughter of King Supabuddha and Queen Amida. She was married to King Suddhodana with her elder sister Mahamaya or Mayadevi. When her sister died after the birth of Siddhartha Gautama she took Siddhartha into her care. She also gave birth to a son, Nanda, to King Suddhodana. After the death of King Suddhodana, Maha Prajapati journeyed to find the Buddha. When she found him, she petitioned the Buddha, through Ananda, to allow women to enter the Sangha as bhikkhuni. After many refusals, the Buddha finally agreed to allow women to enter the Sangha as long as they accepted eight additional vinaya. These were A bhikkhuni must always pay respect to bhikkhus. A bhikkhuni must spend the Varsa retreat in a retreat where bhikkhus are staying. Bhikkhunis must ask bhikkhus to give them official teachings twice a month. Bhikkhunis must perform the end of Varsa ceremony in front of bhikkhunis and bhikkhus. Serious breaches of the Vinaya must be dealt with by bhikkhus and bhikkhunis. Once a trainee has completed her training, she must ask both the bhikkhus and bhikkhunis for ordination. 
Bhikkhunis are not to abuse bhikkhus. Bhikkhus may criticize bhikkhunis regarding disciplinary matters, but bhikkhunis may not criticize bhikkhus. Mahapajapati is said to have given the Buddha a robe made of fine cloth. The Buddha refused it, saying it was too elaborate and would cause the Sangha to degenerate. Later Mahapajapati became an arahant. Rahula <laughs> <laughs> Rahula Pali in Sanskrit was the only son of Siddhartha Gautama, and his wife and princess Yasadhara. He is mentioned in numerous Buddhist texts, from the early period onward. Accounts about Rahula indicate a mutual impact between Prince Siddhartha's life and those of his family members. According to the Pali tradition, Rahula is born on the day of Prince Siddhartha's renunciation, and is therefore named Rahula, meaning a fetter on the path to enlightenment. According to the Malasarvastavada tradition, and numerous other later sources, however, Rahula is only conceived on the day of Prince Siddhartha, and is born six years later, when Prince Siddhartha becomes enlightened as the Buddha. This long gestation period is explained by bad karma from previous lives of both Yasadhara and of Rahula himself, although more naturalistic reasons are also given. As a result of the late birth, Yasadhara needs to prove that Rahula is really Prince Siddhartha's son, which she eventually does successfully by an act of truth. Historian Wolfgang Schumann has argued that Prince Siddhartha conceived Rahula and waited for his birth, to be able to leave the palace with the king and queen's permission, but Orientalist Noel Para considered it more likely that Rahula was born after Prince Siddhartha left his palace. Between 7 to 15 years after Rahula is born, the Buddha returns to Kapilavasta, where Yasadhara has Rahula ask the Buddha for the throne of the Sakya clan. The Buddha responds by having Rahula ordained as the first Buddhist novice monk. He teaches the young novice about truth, self-reflection, and not self, eventually leading to Rahula's enlightenment. Although early accounts state that Rahula dies before the Buddha does, later tradition has it that Rahula is one of the disciples that outlives the Buddha, guarding the Buddha's dispensation until the rising of the next Buddha. Rahula is known in Buddhist texts for his eagerness for learning, and was honored by novice monks and nuns throughout Buddhist history. His accounts have led to a perspective in Buddhism of seeing children as hindrances to the spiritual life on the one hand, and as people with potential for enlightenment on the other hand. See also Yasadhara wife and later disciple. Rahini Gautama Buddha's cousin and disciple. References Topic. Sources <laughs>